Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous couple of videos, we have been designing this slider using HTML, CSS and a library called Swiper.js. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to add this slider to your Blogger website. So here we can see we have these next and previous buttons over here. And we also have these navigation dots over here. So I have shown you how to create all of this in the previous videos. You can watch those videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your websites. So let's get started. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and if I go to theme, here we can see we are using this theme called Contempolite which comes by default with blogger. And uh, let's open this website and let's see how it looks. So this is how our blog looks right now. Now we're going to add our slider at the top over here just below this header. You can add it anywhere you want. I'll just add it over here just below the header. So if you right click over here and go to inspect. And if you take a look at the structure of the website. Here we can see we have all these uh, elements over here. Now this right here is uh, the header. And before that we also have these elements. We have this division. This is all part of the header. So let's see which is the outermost division. So let's scroll up and uh, here we can see this is the header. So this is uh, the outermost division or the outermost element. If you take a look at this center division, it contains all the contents of the website. But here we can see this is the outermost container of the header. Now since we need to add our slider just below the header, we need to take note of the ending tag of the header. So for that, let's go to our blogger theme code. Let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And if you click on this button called jump to widget, you can take a look at these elements over here. Now let's select this header one element from here. And here we can see all the content of the header. If you scroll up and if we take a look at this, here we can see this is the header. So this is where the header starts. So let's uh, click on this uh, arrow to fold the code. And now we can see this is where the header ends. So what we need to do is we need to add the code after the header. So let's go outside this header element. And let's add a simple heading and let's see whether we are in the correct place. So let's type testing. And uh, let's save this. And now let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And now here we can see we have testing displayed. So it is in the correct place. Right now let's add the code of this slider to our theme code. So let's go back to our heading. So this is the heading. Let's remove this heading from here. And let's go back to our source code. And this is our HTML. So let's copy all this HTML from this starting division till this end of script tag over here. So let's copy all of this and uh, let's go back and paste it over here. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add the CSS. Now if you take a look at this code we can see that uh, we have all this content of the posts over here. You can go ahead and change the image, the title and the description of the post according to the post in your website. I'll just keep these headings and description as it is but I'll just change this image because in our blogger website we don't have this images folder and we also don't have this post1.jpg image. It is inside our local project over here inside this images folder. So what we need to do is we need to upload the image somewhere online and then get the link and paste it over here. You can also upload the image to one of your posts in your blogger website and get the link and paste it over here. I just use a service called Cloudinary. So you can just go to this website called cloudinary.com and create a free account and just log into the account and go to media library. Now here you can upload your images and get the link and paste it anywhere you want. So let's click on upload and uh, let's upload the images over here. So let's click on browse. Now these are all the images that we need in our design. So let's select all of these and let's click on open. And here we can see all the images have been uploaded. So let's copy the links of these images and paste it into our design. Now to get the URL of these images, you can just click on this options button and click on copy URL. 
or you can also click on this button called copy URL. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here for the first image. And let's do the same for all the other images. So let's copy and paste it for the second image. And uh, let's copy this third image and paste it over here for the third thumbnail. And then I think lastly we have just one image. So let's copy this link and paste it over here. Right now the next thing we need to do is add the CSS and we also need to add the link of this swiper bundle min.css. So first of all let's do this. Let's copy this link from here. And we need to add it inside the head section. So here we can see this is inside the head section. So let's copy this from here and let's scroll up and go to the head section of our blogger theme code. And this is the head section. So let's paste the link over here. And then lastly we need to add the CSS. So let's go to our shallow CSS file. And let's copy all the CSS from here. And let's paste it in our CSS of the theme code. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end of the CSS. So this is where the CSS ends. I'll just make some space over here. And I'll just add a comment. Let's type swiper.js. And let's paste the CSS over here. And now we may have to make some changes in the CSS depending on our theme and how it looks. But for now let's save it and let's see how it looks. So let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see this is how it looks right now and uh, we have all the buttons working all right but we have some problems in the css so let's fix them the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to add a background color so let's right click over here and uh, let's click on inspect and uh, let's select the swiper division which is the container division and uh, let's add some styles over here let's type background and let's set it to white. Now the next thing we will do is uh, we will set the width to 100%. Right now it is set to a fixed value. So here we can see width is set to 700 pixels. So let's change this to 100%. So this is how it looks right now. And we also need to add some margin bottom for this slider. So here let's type margin bottom and let's set it to let's try 40 pixels. And I think that looks all right. And I think we'll also add some margin to the left and the right. So let's change this to margin. And what we'll do is uh, we will set the margin top and bottom to 40 pixels. And for left and right, we'll set a margin of 16 pixels. And now we can see this is how it looks. On the left, we have it in the correct alignment. But on the right, we have a lot more width. So what we will do is we'll set the width to auto. And now we can see it looks all right. We have the correct width for our slider. Now the next thing we will do is uh, we'll also remove this uh, fixed value from the height. So we'll set the height to auto as well. And uh, I think everything else is looking all right. We'll also add a heading over here for this slider. So let's copy these styles from here. So let's copy all of this. And uh, let's go back to our CSS. So here for the swiper, let's cut the width and the height and paste the code that we copied. And let's go to the HTML and let's add a heading. So let's go to the header widget. And let's scroll down and uh, this is our swiper element. Here let's create an S3. And let's tap interesting posts. And we'll also add a class over here so that we can style it in the CSS. So let's set the class to swiper heading. And let's scroll up and go to the CSS. And here let's add some styles for the swiper heading. So let's type swiper heading. And let's set the font size to 30 pixels. And we'll set the text aligned to center. And uh, we'll also add some margin. Let's set it to 16 pixels. And let's see how it looks. So let's save this uh, theme code. Now 
Now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And this is how it looks right now. Let's also change the color of this text. Let's go back to our CSS and I'll just change the color to black. And let's save it. And now we can see we have the correct color for the heading. Now here for these headings of this post, you can add the link of your post over here. So for example, if you want to add the link of this first post to this uh, heading, then you can just copy the link. So you can just right click over here and click on copy link address and uh, go back to your code. Let's go to the HTML. And here for the first post, we have this heading and uh, before that we have this anchor tag. So in this anchor tag for the href attribute, you can just add the link. So I'll just paste the link over here. And now if I just save this, and if I go back to our website and refresh this page, and now if I click on this first heading, we are taken to the first post over here. And let's go back. So in this way, you can go ahead and add the links of your posts over here. Now, if you open any of these other posts, you can see the slider over here as well. If you don't want to see the slider over here, if you want to see it only on the home page, you can just add an if condition. So here before the swiper, you can just type less than b colon if c or nd for the condition. And here you can just type data colon blog dot url equals equals data colon blog dot home page url and then you can just close the if condition after all this code so here let's type less than forward slash b colon if and now if you save this and if you go back to our website and if i refresh this page here we can see for this post page we don't have the slider displayed and if you go to the home page here we have the slider displayed so that's how you can add the slider only to your home page now the last thing I'll show you in this video is how to make this slider responsive. So right now if I just decrease the width of this browser window and if I refresh this page, this is how our slider looks right now. It looks good on this screen size but if you decrease the screen size even more, now it doesn't look good. So what we need to do is when we are on such a small screen size, we need to display just one of these slides at a time. So for that you can just add some code into your JavaScript. So let's go back to our theme code. And here we can see this is uh, all the options of the Swiper library. So here we need to add one more option called breakpoints. So let's tap breakpoints. And uh, in that we need to add the screen sizes. Now here we can add a width value. So if I just type, let's try 600. And uh, now here in these curly braces, we can add the changes that we need to have. So by default, we will set the slides per view to one. And when we are on a screen size greater than or equal to 600 pixels, we will set the slides per view to two. So let's type slides per view and let's set it to two. If you don't understand all of this, you can watch my previous videos. I have explained all of this in those videos. So let's save it and let's see whether it works. Let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. So it looks all right over here. Let's decrease the screen width. And now we can see when we are on a smaller screen width, we just have one slide at a time. And when we are on a larger screen size, we have two slides. So now we can see that our slider is completely responsive. So that's basically how you can add a slider to your blogger website. Right, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.